Accelerated Learning Binaural Beats. Listen to these 60 financial terms that are most likely to show up on the ARE 5.0 practice management exam. Play the audio before you sleep or when you wake up in a relaxed state. Repeat the word and use your imagination to apply the word to what you already know. Let's begin. Accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is money owed to the firm by clients, consultants, or other debtors. Aged accounts receivable. Aged accounts receivable classifies the accounts receivable by the length of time it takes to receive an invoice and highlights accounts that are past due. Account. Account is a record or statement of financial transactions. Accounts payable. Accounts payable tracks dollars owed by the firm to others. Modified accrual basis accounting. Modified accrual basis accounting tracks revenue earned from project fees and expenses invoiced to the clients the moment they are earned or incurred. Backlog. Backlog tracks anticipated revenue from new projects with contracts but have not been earned yet. Bad debt. Bad debt is debt, loans, or any outstanding balance owed to the firm that is no longer recoverable or collectible. Balance sheet. Balance sheet is a financial report capturing a firm's assets, liabilities, and owner's equity as of a specific date. Billable time. Billable time is the time charged to a project or time invoiced to a client. It is also known as direct time. Billing rate. Billing rate is the price the architect or firm charges per unit of time. Break-even rate. Break-even rate is the overhead rate plus the unit cost of one for an hour of salary. Budget. The dollar amount established by the client to accomplish a project. Cash basis accounting. Cash basis accounting is an accounting method for tracking income received and all expenditures paid, including salaries. Cash flow. Cash flow is the change in the firm's cash account. Positive cash flow means more money is received, and negative cash flow means a decrease in the cash account. Cash flow statement. Cash flow statement is a financial statement that summarizes cash and cash equivalents entering and leaving a firm. Chargeable time. Chargeable time is direct time charged to projects which may or may not have been invoiced to clients. Compensation. Compensation is the action of awarding someone money for damages incurred, payment for services rendered, or products or materials furnished or delivered. Current earnings. Current earnings is the amount of money left after deducting all taxes and distributions. Daily billing rate. Daily billing rate is an established rate for the billing of personnel services on a per day basis. Depreciation. Depreciation 
represents how much of an asset's value has been used over its useful life, after which the asset retains a small value. Direct Expense Direct expense are expenses related to a billable project. Direct Labor Direct labor is time charged to a billable project. Direct personnel expense. Direct personnel expense is the cost of direct salaries and benefits of personnel working on a project. Benefits may include insurance, sick leave, holidays, and vacations. Direct salary expense. Direct salary expense is the direct salary of the firm personnel, excluding benefits. Dividend. Dividend is money from a corporation's net income or profits paid on an ongoing basis to its shareholders in proportion to the number of shares held. Earned revenue. Earned revenue is the revenue earned for services provided by an architect or firm. Payment may be billed and collected, billed and uncollected, or unbilled. Expense. Expense is the actual cash spent for goods and services that don't result in acquiring an asset or distributing profit. In the accrual accounting method, Expenses are recognized when incurred, but in cash accounting, when actual cash is spent. Fixed assets. Fixed assets are tangible long-term assets that are used in the operation of a business to produce its goods or services. Fixed assets may include furniture and equipment. These are recorded on the balance sheet. General Ledger General Ledger is a record-keeping system, a book of accounts containing a summary of all transactions in separate accounts, such as accounts for assets, accounts for liabilities, revenue, expenses, and owner's equity. Hourly Billing Rate Hourly billing rate is the rate used for billing for services on a per hour basis. Each employee in a firm has a specific billing rate. Income. Income in a firm is money received for services provided. Income statement. Income statement, also called profit loss statement, shows the activity of the firm during a specific accounting period. This includes income received, expenses paid, and the resulting profit. Indirect expense. Indirect expense are expenses incurred to operate a business and are not directly related to a specific project. This is also called overhead. Interest. Interest is money paid regularly for the use of money lent expressed as a rate. Interest is calculated either on the initial amount borrowed called simple interest or calculated on the principal amount plus interest from previous periods called compound interest. Invoice. Invoice is a bill for the cost of products purchased or services provided to the client. In a firm, the architect's consultants may invoice the architect for services provided on a project. Architects may also invoice the client for their services. Liabilities. Liabilities are anything owed such as debts or obligations of the firm to others. These may be due within one year, known as current liabilities, or beyond a year, called long-term liabilities. Line of credit. 
Line of credit is an account that allows the firm to borrow money from a bank up to a maximum amount. The firm pays interest on the amount borrowed or outstanding. Liquid assets. Liquid assets can be converted into cash rapidly and without significant loss of value. Cash, notes receivable, money market instruments are all types of liquid assets. Liquid assets are included on a balance sheet. Multiplier. Multiplier is a factor multiplied to employees' direct salary to determine compensation for personnel or to generate the target profit per employee firm-wide. Net multiplier. Net multiplier is the ratio between the net operating revenue and total direct labor. It reveals the return on every dollar of direct labor in a firm. Net operating revenue. Net operating revenue is the net dollars remaining after deducting invoiced outside consultant fees, direct expenses, and reimbursable expenses. Net profit. Net profit is the money remaining after subtracting from the net operating revenue, direct and indirect labor, indirect expenses, and before any distributions are made or taxes paid. For accrual-based accounting, it is the revenue minus expenses for a specific accounting period. With cash basis accounting, it is the cash left over or the taxable income. Net working capital. Net working capital or working capital is the difference between the firm's current assets such as cash, accounts receivable, inventories of material, and current liabilities such as accounts payable. Net worth. Net worth defines what is owned minus what is owed. The current value of owner's investment or equity in a firm. In other words, assets minus liabilities. Non-reimbursable direct expenses. Non-reimbursable direct expenses are project-related expenses that cannot be billed for the terms of contract in a firm. Overhead rate. Overhead rate formula is the ratio of total indirect expenses divided by total direct labor. Overhead rate is the cost of operating the business as a multiplier or factor multiplied by the employee hourly rate to derive a break-even rate. Profitability. Profitability is the ability of a firm to generate income from revenue generated in delivering services. Profit sharing plan. Profit sharing plan is a means to distribute portions of the firm's profits to employees either during or after profits are earned. Retained earnings. Retained earnings are a firm's cumulative net earnings or profit after income taxes and is accumulated over time. Revenue. Revenue are dollars generated as a result of the firm providing services or from normal business operations. Revenue is the total amount generated while income is earnings or profit. Salary. Salary is a regular payment made by an employer to an employee for services provided by the employee. Statement of account. Statement of account is a document capturing all transactions between the firm and a client for a given period. It is a summary of outstanding invoices, total earned revenue, total paid, and total due. 
unbilled revenue. Unbilled revenue is revenue earned by a firm or project, but has not been billed to the client yet. The client has not received an invoice. Unearned revenue. Unearned revenue is revenue for services the firm has been contracted to render, but has not yet provided to the client. Unit price. Unit price is the price for a unit, such as price per material or price per square foot. This price is captured in bidding or contract documents and is often used as a method to determine the fee for service. Utilization ratio. Utilization rate formula is the ratio of direct labor divided by total direct labor. It's the direct hours charged to a project to the total hours reported. It can be calculated for the employee, team, or firm. Work in process. Work in process is work provided by the firm that has not been invoiced yet. It can also be referred to as unbilled revenue. Working capital. Working capital, similar to net working capital, is the minimum amount of liquid capital needed to maintain flow of capital from cash to unbilled revenue to accounts receivable into cash again. Write-off. Write-off is a reduction of the value of an asset into an expense account or to the profit and loss account.